Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome back, welcome back. So today we're going to be drinking local for me. Uh, something big, something special. So stay tuned right here on... Hey, it's Jason, and this is my wonderful adventures in beer. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Uh, today, I am drinking something, like I said, local. And I've been sitting on this for a minute and forgot about it. Found it in my fridge. And, uh, I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it aged fine. It's been sealed. Everything's good to go. Uh, looking forward to it. So today, we're drinking from the NoFo Brewing Company and Distillery out of Cumming, Georgia. That's right, coming Georgia, and it is spelt that way. Um, actually, that's where I went to school, and so it's kind of home. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. Uh, just f they announced last year they're opening a second location over in my neck of the woods here in Gainesville, Georgia. So I'm really excited for that. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, so today, like I said, it's no foe. We're going to be drinking out of this big old crowler, 32 ounces, and this is the Boar's Tusk. And it's a double imperial stout. <clears throat> I'm looking, so excited for this beer. This clocks in at 10% ABV with unknown IBUs. <clears throat> so uh, let's quick waste some time. Let's crack this bad boy open. And uh, ooh, wow. I'd say that was still pretty good sitting there that long. Got my official no foe glassware here. Pouring pretty nice. I kind of poured it rough in the beginning, so it's got a bit more head than I wanted. But that shows that it's sat in that can pretty good. It's good looking beer though. Look at that. Look at that. That color on the head. That nice caramel colors in there. Dark up on the bottom and it lightens up on top. Pitch black beer. Just that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, on the aroma, I'm getting some coffee and some chocolate, some caramels. Uh, it is, I believe this is bourbon barrel aged as well. Uh, I am getting some bourbon on the nose. It just smells fantastic. In fact, I'm even picking up some uh, fig or date. Very interesting. Well, let's top that off a little bit. That head died down. Got a random fly in here. So let's quit wasting time and let's put it down, y'all. Mm, very, very tasty. Uh, very boozy up front. You can taste the alcohol in it. Uh, it might have been because it's been sitting so long, the alcohol has taken over. Uh, once the alcohol burn has died down, and yes, I am getting an actual alcoholic burn. Um, it's very good. I'm picking up those chocolate and caramel notes. Not so much the coffee or dark fruit. More chocolate and caramel. It's very good. Uh, it does have a, a bit of a... I don't want to say funk, um, off taste in the back end. And I, again, I've been sitting on this beer for about a year. It's been in my fridge, so it should be okay. And hopefully I don't die. Now nah, that'll be good. Uh, really, really good. Very tasty. No foe, you did a wonderful job again. Keep up the good work. Can't wait for your new location. And uh, peace out, y'all. And remember, every beer is an adventure. It's just waiting for you. Cheers. Cheers.